Shopkins, if you want to know how to make these really awesome DIY Shopkins phone cases, keep watching! Hi guys, so for the Lippy Lips phone case, uh, you will need some material, a Lippy Lips plush, um, an old phone case, some glue, scissors and a sharpie. Now I know a few of you will have a problem with me cutting into Lippy Lips and I feel really bad, but um, on the plus side you get to carry her around everywhere, so um, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, make an incision the size of your phone case. Um, now the incision and the cut will be um, down the middle um, so that I have, and not on the sides, so that I have the excess material to tuck in. Okay, so um, I felt like it wasn't that secure, so I'm going to stick some cardboard. I'm going to put a cardboard inside and I'm going to stick the material onto the cardboard just so that it has some shape. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry for an hour. Alright, so to make these really cool Shopkins phone pouches, <laughs> and I call them phone pouches, um, you will need some Shopkins socks, glue and scissors. Really simple. Um, so today I'm going to do a cheesy bee one. So I'm just going to take that out because you will need to measure your phone against the sock and maybe just give a tiny bit of space because you will be gluing that part. So I will probably cut the long piece. Alright, so. And there's your cute little Shopkins phone pouch. How adorable. All right guys, so for the Shoppies phone case, you will need some Mod Podge, some pink paint, scissors, 
Sharpies, paintbrush and some cutouts. Now I never throw away any of the um, Shopkins packaging or magazines because um, you can always do something with them. <laughs> um, I got these cutouts from the Shopkins packets and I know you're thinking that this is quite this is quite a stiff cardboard to stick on to a phone case but you will find that it actually peels off, the image peels off quite easily uh, making it thin enough to stick on a phone case. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint it pink, paint this phone case pink and then I will probably do a few layers. Okay, so I did um, two layers of the light pink and two layers of the neon pink and I waited for that to dry so now it's time to stick on these cutouts and I will be sticking them and sealing them with Mod Podge. Once the Mod Podge has dried, um, add a tiny bit of gloss just to give it a bit of a shine and that is it guys. What do you guys think of the Shopkins Shoppies phone cover? I really really like it. I think it's really fun and really really cool. But if you're the type of person who likes to change your phone cover regularly, these are perfect for you. Um, I use some old Shopkins magazine and some old Shopkins packaging. I never throw away the packaging because I can always use it. And um, But if you don't have any old Shopkins magazines, then you can always print these out. All you need to do is measure the shape of your phone case. I use this and cut it out and then any clippings or printouts that you have just stick them on and you have a really really awesome phone case so I quite like this one So here's one I am going to put together right now, a nice festive one, cut out some of the card and I am literally just going to stick and you have an awesome festive Shopkins phone cover. So with my next DIY Shopkins phone cover I used a soft phone case and some puffy paint and I just drew in the I love SPK design and I really really like it. Um, I think it's really quirky and cute so I'm really happy with that. Um, so yeah, that was really really simple and just have fun with it. So for my Shopkins Season 4 phone case, I will be doing a 3D effect of my favourite limited edition Season 4 Shopkins which is Sally Scent <laughs> and I will be using these 3D um, paints and also the phone case itself will be gold as well as white pearl. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the phone case in gold. So after a couple of layers of gold acrylic paint, 
I want to um, paint over it with some white pearl to create a cloud and then I will be um, doing the 3D paint effect. So once the paint has dried, it's time to use these 3D paint effects. Um, Sally Scent is actually a heart shape and her top is gold, so that's what I'm going to do now. So now I'm going to draw in Sally Sense uh, features 